There are chilling new details from the trial of Dylan Roof tonight. He's accused in the murders of nine black worshipers at a Bible study. Prosecutors now revealing what they found in his car, including a list of other black churches among the targets. ABC's Steve Osinsami is in Charleston for us again tonight. There were strange moments in this courthouse today. More than once we saw Dylan Roof and one of his lawyers laughing together during breaks with the grieving families of his alleged victim sitting nearby. There is nothing funny here at all. Prosecutors shared words from his racist manifesto and showed items pulled from his car after the murders at this historic black church in June of 2015. A Confederate flag, the 45 caliber Glock in the back seat under a pillow, and a burned American flag in the trunk. There was also a list of these other black churches. In his FBI confession, Roof said he considered other targets. I thought about it looks like a black festival or something like that. But they got security and stuff, and you got to wait for the day. You know, you can't do it whenever you're ready. He explained to the FBI agents that he's a white nationalist and couldn't care less about black lives. Do you have any remorse? Oh, I think it's too soon. Jurors learned today that Roof should have never been able to buy the gun. Surveillance videos show him going and coming from a gun store in April, a whole two months before the killings. A background check should have denied him the firearm because of a previous arrest for drug possession. This was a system failure. In court, the gun store owner testified that he didn't hear back from the government until the end of June, nearly two weeks after the killings. David, Steve Osinsami tonight, thank you.